Fay, of course, was a first grade student at Springdale Elementary School, and the school's principal uh, sent out a message to parents today because it's going to be difficult to talk to these kids. Mm. Even if your child is not a student at Springdale, this is a message that you need to hear because if your kids are watching the news today, they are going to have questions. And as a parent, it's very difficult to come up with the answers. She, the principal at Springdale, wanted the parents to know there will be extra district and school counselors on hand in the coming days to meet with the children. Here's just part of the message that she left for the Springdale family. We know how hard something like this is even for adults to understand. This letter contains some general suggestions about how you can help your child. In general, after something like this, children need to know that they are safe and that their home is safe. Remember too that children look to the adults in their lives watch how they handle grief and loss and take their cues from you as they approach difficult situations like this. If you do discuss the death, use very simple language and ideas as death is a very hard concept for young children to grasp. Listed below are a few general strategies you may choose to use to talk with your child about death. Give honest, brief explanations. Avoid over answering questions. Keep responses at the child's level of understanding. Listen and hug. Use a calm, reassuring voice. Avoid forcing the discussion. Remind children it is natural and acceptable to show emotion when someone we love dies. If you are worried about how your child is doing, please do not hesitate to call our school. We are here to support your students through this. Sincerely, Hope Verana. Coming up a little bit later on Friends at Five, we're gonna have a licensed counselor here, a grief counselor to speak with you all at home and answer some questions about how you talk to your kids. And that's one of the hardest parts I think for all parents is we want our kids to be able to play outside. We want our kids to be able to enjoy our homes and feel safe and feel security. And certainly with this news, I think it just shakes the foundation of everybody's safety. So got to figure out the right words because we don't even have them. We don't have them. I've already talked with her today and she told me I don't know is a very good answer for parents. So mm -hmm. you'll want to be here for that interview. Stay tuned for that. But we did see people laying down flowers at Faye's school and we know her classmates are missing her terribly. Our Michael Fuller spoke with one of the parents outside Springdale Elementary and here's what they had to say. We're here outside of Springdale Elementary. This is where six-year-old Faye Swetlick attended. She was in the first grade and for the past several hours it's been a very somber spirit. His parents and guardians have come to pick up their children. We even saw just a little while ago a father with his son who's in the first grade drop off flowers to honor Faye's memory. And we had a chance to speak to him and here's what he had to say. My son said he played with her son on the playground, but like I said they were in separate classes, but I know all the teachers thought highly of her. My wife does some field trips with them and said that she was a really outgoing little girl. So, and I know one of the baseball moms on our team is in her son's in the class and said that she was really, really sweet. It was really sad picking them up from school today. All the teachers you could clearly tell was upset. And we've reached out, but have not heard back from school district officials to see if there will be anything that will happen tomorrow or even going into next week to honor Faye's memory. Reporting here at Springdale Elementary, I'm Michael Fuller. Wow, just to see that, just to see that today, mm -hmm. you know, the, the kids going out there at the school, that, that's pretty tough. Heartbreaking and knowing too that each one of those teachers had a relationship and knew her and knew her personality. My heart breaks for every kid at Springdale Elementary. Right.